What's up, everybody? It's your boy Alexis Maurice and Free Hollywood, who decided not to join us last week. That's why we didn't have a video because this bitch was talking about he was sick and all kind of stuff like that. Didn't have the nerve to call me. I'm his host. You know, I'm his co-host to let me know that he wasn't going to be here. But I today, I texted you. Today, he decided that he was actually going to show okay, up. Okay, put me on blast. So, put yeah, on put you on blast. You know, I'm going to write a letter and right. publish it in the Daily Journal and all kind of right. shit like that because, girl, you late for that. But anywho, we're going to move on. Well. So we want you to pour yourself a glass of wine, put on a bomb of lipstick, and, no, I said it wrong. What? It's a, it doesn't matter. I think actually most of viewers got it by now because they, they be saying it to me. Pour yourself a glass of wine. Put, put, on, on, this, bomb, a bomb, put on some lipstick and pull yourself together right. for the latest edition of Hollywood Happenings. So what we got going on, Trey, because we missed a lot over the last two weeks. So now we got to play catch up. I know you really wanted to talk about the Oscars. Um, right, let's discuss that. Uh, what, what, what? Oh, wait a minute. We're, we're talking about, um, not talking about, we are drinking... You better wipe Not Moscato. Roscato. Roscato. Mm -hmm. Roscato. It's an Italian drink. It's an Italian red wine. It's actually pretty sweet, so it's pretty good. Go out and buy it. Yeah. Um, shout out to my auntie for putting, us on. putting on. She put us on it. To my cousin, JT. Shout out to him, mm -hmm. who put on with me or whatever when it comes to this wine. So let's talk about the Oscars. Who won what? Uh, let's talk about that movie, Argo, because we were talking about that earlier. You have seen it. I've never seen it either. I heard it's a fantastic movie, though. I heard it was, too. Maybe we should watch it. Maybe we should go see it. Yeah. No, not go. Is it on DVD yet? Well, I really wouldn't know. But um, what I'm thing I want to talk about, because whenever it comes to award shows nowadays, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff that people talk about is the fashion. Mm -hmm. Who looked good? Who wore this? What you're wearing? Um, and I'm just really going to go back on my girl, um, Kelly Rowland. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's been happening with her lately, yeah. but she has been doing it. Yeah, she showed up to the to the Oscars. Don't even act. Her yeah. last movie was uh, Freddie Rogers. I don't even movie. know how she got an invitation to the damn show. After all, I mean, but she killed it. Keeping it cute, but why was she even there? She's not an actress. She's not. Well, she is. She's, she's considered an actress. I mean, she did act in the movie and yeah. got killed. You know. Yeah, but you know, the Oscars aren't all about just about acting though. Because right. there's music that you have. Um, you know, you have the the, the the movie score or whatever the best mm -hmm. movie score and that went to Adele yeah. for Skyfall, Skyfall movie, um, the latest James Bond flick, flick, flick. So who are all the winners? Go back up. Let's start from the top. Um, well, for um, Argo, since we're talking about that one, that best was picture, Best Picture. Right. Um, Daniel Day-Lewis. For Linking. Mm -hmm. Best Leader Leader role. Role. Leader role. That's Christian, y'all. Excuse her. <laughs> Go ahead. Actress in a leading role She's went to bitch. Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> went to Jennifer Lawrence for Silver Lining Playbook. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that? Haven't seen that either. Actor in a supporting role goes to Christoph Watts. Mm -hmm. That's the Django. Y'all was talking Django. about that earlier. A phenomenal movie. That movie is so damn hilarious. It's ridiculous. <laughs> what else? Animated feature film was Brave. No, you forgot about actress in a supporting role Anne Hathaway. Less miserable. How, how, how you know I didn't list that on purpose? Oh, I mean, I mean she, I, she, she okay, but yeah, animated feature was brave. I thought I heard that was pretty good. Mm -hmm. My my, uh, my We cousin. should really watch all of these movies before we start talking about them. Not we haven't seen none of them. Only ones I've seen is Django. I haven't even seen that one. Yeah. Um, um, costume design went to Anna Karimina. Mm -hmm. That was the movie. Mm -hmm. um, directing was Ang Lee, Life of Pi. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that. All I saw was a child on a boat with a lion in the middle of the water, mm -hmm. storms, right. fire, hail, all kind of shit like that happening. That was all, all that was going on. Yeah. Which I heard it's a good movie, though. It was just too much going on for me. I don't like all that too much going on kind of stuff in the movie. You know, maybe we should stop talking about this because we really haven't seen any of the movies. We haven't. You saw the Django. That's the only one, and that's stereotypical so how was it? that we saw a black movie. said it was movie, good, so. but... <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, let's move on. What else do you have on the docket for you? Uh, let's talk about Nicki Minaj. We've been seeing her lately changing up her look. She she doesn't have all these bushy stuff going on anymore. She has a straight hairdo, um, makeup kind of been toned down. What are you what are you signing for? Go ahead, Trey. Tell me about Nicki. Well, she recently has fired her um her makeup artist her her. Um, her glam squad, as she said. Mm -hmm. And I think that's mainly why we're seeing that she has a new look now. She says she wants to be taken more serious since she's... Since so she, what's the new look? Let me see. Well, that's not really the new look. 
that's really more so the old look. But you you know the new look where she's doing the straight hair, and it's not all extra. It's not different colors. It's blonde, so it's like it's a Beyonce wig or weave or whatever. It's just a blonde, straight, and it's nice and elegant. Bore, bore, bore. Okay, so this is all I have to say about Nicki Minaj. I think Nicki Minaj would be an exceptional actress because she's such an animated person. She takes on all of these different personalities. I would really love to see her on the silver screen, like tackling some type of serious you know, role. School for that. I know exactly. Not only is she, um, you know, a musician, an artist. But she's also, you know, professionally trained when it comes to being an actress and things of that nature. So I would really love to see some versatility mm -hmm. with Nicki Minaj because I know for a fact that she can do it. I know that she can. I mean, you just look at her productions. Just look at, you know, the, like I said, the characters, the personalities that she takes on when she's performing. Um, I, I just think she'll do an exceptional job. So I really would look, like to see her do some acting in 2013, 2014. Well, she said that she really wanted to actually tackle more so of being able to do hip-hop music more, do it do it better than what she's been doing because a lot of it has been off of what she normally does. So that's why she wanted to change this whole look. So now she's doing American Idol. She wanted to be taken more seriously. So that's why she's doing it. So she wanted to be more taken more as a more hip-hop artist now than all this pop that she Girl, I ain't interested in her as a musician anymore. I'm interested in her as an actress and want to see what she can do. I hear that. Tell me about something that you was, what you was going Well, about. I'm so glad that you asked. First off, let's go ahead and start with Fantasia. Okay. So, since we're talking about American Idol. Mm -hmm. So, apparently Fantasia is like stupid upset because of the fact that um, Jet Magazine for their March issue actually put up an old photograph of her versus the original um, photo that she actually sent to them. And she tweeted this specifically. She said, this saddens me. It is clear that the picture is 10 years old and Jet Magazine puts on puts it on the cover. After I after I send them, not sent, but send them the new look and direction, sad. I want a public apology from Jet. Now, I'm not sure if the interview is correct, see America. They use me as a crash dummy, but no more. If I don't stand for something, I'll fall for anything. How do you feel about that? I think First of all, I'm sorry, I asked you how you feel no, about this. No, go ahead, go ahead. You my, my thing is, you are in no position where you can ask anybody for any type of public apology. What you need to do is you need to go to media class mm -hmm. or media school one-on-one. Mm -hmm. -on -one. No, I'm serious. Shit, first of all, Fantasia needs some new publishers. I, I love Fantasia 100%. But before she gets up and start publishing, you know, these ignorant tweets and these ignorant messages or she says these things like she was caught up in the in the news a few weeks ago a few months ago about something about people judging her but did she say something about the gays no she the, the gays took it out of the content what did she say she said something what was it? she basically was saying how people are criticizing her and and and, and blaming her for the things that she's done because she slept with a married man and, but she then, got but, and that's when she made a statement Fact. But that's when she made a sin. Just like my, my stepmother has always told me there's no sin bigger than another. There's people who's judging gays for being homosexuals. There, there are people who... That's what that's basically what she was saying. The, the word that we live in, people always criticize them based on what they do. And they worry so much about her when people are not worried... When people are worried about gay marriages. That's basically what she was saying. And people... And the gays are trying to take it as she don't support gays. Mm -hmm. She don't say she don't support gay marriage. I mean, my... And she came back and, and basically even deleted the post and re... re but that's... Said, you know, you already said it. You already put it... She out corrected herself. Listen, she, she you already it, put it out there in the atmosphere. When you react like that, you're really stating how you really feel about something. I don't... I don't now think. she wants to retract it and say this or try to put a positive spin on it. You have to think about those things before you actually put it out there. That's all I'm saying. So she's asking people for... She's, she wants jet man magazine to give her a public apology because she they used the cover that they wanted to do. At the end of the day, these people use whatever the hell they want to on their material. Me personally, mm -hmm. I think that you think they owe her an apology. Yeah. Why? Because first of all, they used a picture that was her like her first album. And so what? That's disrespectful. How many as years a, as an artist? Ten years ago, the picture was ten years ago. How long has Fantasia been in the game? It could have been a homage. But think about the thing. You know, think about people going to her being in the industry. Say for example, like say that. for example, if you were if you were three hundred pounds. Okay. And then you go through a transformation where you where you lose that weight. Okay. And hold on. They go like, oh, oh bitch, you remember when that bitch wait, was but fat? Wait, Ooh, but wait, look at her. Listen, but let's say you do an interview with Ebony Magazine. Mm -hmm. Ebony Magazine decides to 
zone in on when you were 300 pounds. Girl, Everybody, it was me. It's but who you, I but am. You're a different it was person a now. Of, okay, you are a different yeah. person now. And that's, that's what she wants him to do. She wants him to be able to show that she's a different person. Yes, I slept with a married man. She yes, talks I had a child with a married man. She's still ignorant. She ain't learned from none of her mistakes. I mean, what is it? That doesn't that is a mean post on a picture just because she she has a lack of education. That that I mean, she did go get her high school diploma. I give her that. But she's not the most intelligent person. Shit, Beyonce around here is phenomenal what she does, but people still think she got a fourth fourth grade education. At the end of the day, here's what Jet had to right. say to Fantasia. Jet magazine is honored to have Fantasia grace the cover of its March. It was issue. Jet anyways, like it is unfortunate that that's an ignorant comment right there, Trey, but anyway. Well, I'm saying, who's Jet? It when is they unfortunate that Fantasia is displeased with the cover selection. However, Jet stands by its decision. Yeah. As standard editorial practice, Jet consulted with Fantasia's team but reserves the right to select the image we deem as most appropriate for Jet's brand and reflective of the of the cover story um, sentiment. Jet continues to root for Fantasia's success Shame. and encourages her fans to pick up the new issue. Because I'm pretty sure that it had a lot of positive things to say about her. Mm -hmm. But in other news, she has a new album coming out, The April. Side Effects of You, coming out in April. Everybody go buy the cover. Girl, you done already got paid for the magazine shoot, so go ahead and let that go and, and move on. That's all I got to say about that whole Fantasia thing. Yes. And continue to go to speech class. All right, what, you, what else you got? Since we talk about a whole bunch of drama, let's just go back and we're going to touch bases on this one more time. We touched bases only a couple of weeks ago with Keisha Cole and her, her, her talking about Why Michelle. are we giving her life? No, no, we're going to do, we're going to give Kelly life, how she came back. Okay. Her, she, Kelly had an interview recently. Right. And, and she was asked, you know, you had a re re reunited with your girls, with your sisters, at the Super Bowl. After they lied to us and told us that they weren't going to reunite. They did lie to us. But that's neither here nor there. It feels so good. Yeah, that right there. So basically, um, <laughs> she was asked. And this is, she was asked, what did you feel about it? And Kelly said, I, it didn't even make it on my radar until other people brought it up. It didn't even matter. We had a wonderful performance, and that's all I cared about. It was my, it was me and my sisters, and the three of us matter to each other, and that's all that counts. We matter to a lot more people, with all due respect, than than her. So I really don't care what she said. That was hot, Kelly. Yeah, that was, was hot. I mean, I really think that she 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 didn't basically stay on the, the subject. She really addressed it in and said how she felt she about it. She handled it with grace. She did. She did. That's that's grace. That's grace. I like that. Anywho. <laughs> Moving along, so we're also talking in the in since we're talking about beef and things like that. Oh Lord. So there was this rumor circulating that K Michelle mm -hmm. slapped Mimi or whatever in the in the shooting of the new season or something like that. You're talking about Mimi uh, Stevie J's wife. Wow. Right. We don't really know the whole details about it and I'm not a fan of love and hip hop at all. I think it's trash, but shout out to all those people who getting, you know, their come up. You know, off of that show, right? Um, but you know, she she did an interview and she was saying how you know something about Mimi came backstage with some shit or whatever, and so she had to slap some sense into her or whatever. I can't stand so, her. I mean, who you can't stand? I cannot stand Kate Michelle. I love it. That shook the table. Yeah, she shook no, the table. No, wait a minute. Did y'all? Let, let me stop for a minute. <laughs> did you see the video on World Star Hip Hop? Of the ball that they had here in Charlotte. Now you know Kay Michelle and Carly Rae, she was like, that bitch does shit at the table. This girl at the ball here in Charlotte, I don't know what happened. Somebody got mad at somebody. They was throwing chairs, I seen it. I gotta ass, that. and shit. But honey, that damn bitch picked up that table and she threw it. She threw that table. If y'all have not seen it, Please go look it up on YouTube, World Star Hip Hop. It's the um, it's it's a ball that was here in Charlotte, and it just turned into a complete brawl. She picked up a table and she threw it at them bitches in that building. But anywho, <laughs> Kay Michelle was basically stating that she's not doing Love and Hip Hop anymore. We'll probably see her through episodes one through six. But whatever this big shakeup is, I think it's going to be her exit off of the show. She she does want to, well she is, she has left the show. More than likely she probably got kicked off because of physical violence. Right. But I don't understand why because everybody else kicked each other ass last season. Ooh, wasn't that, wasn't it? that show is so ghetto. Like right. seriously. Um, but anywho, I'm not mad at nobody when they come up. 
Because I'm trying to get on mine. Well, well, and if they offer me a slot on Love and Hip Hop, yeah. I'll be right there. We in there. Right there. Right we'll in there. We'll be in there. But anywho, so I'm really interested to see what happens with this whole okay. K. Michelle thing. Because I think it's hilarious that she, if she really did slap me, me she oh. slapped me, me. I I'm like okay. K. Michelle. I don't. Her country, you know, she has a very southern draw to That's her. True. She's very outspoken. She says what's on her mind. Um, and I just like her. I don't. I just can't get into her. I do. Her. Uh, She's mm -hmm. fake. Why would you say that? She's fake. She's not fake. I don't think she says. She says she. I don't know. To me, the show, the the episodes that I've seen of that trash, she's probably been the most, you know, maybe real legitimate one thus far. She's a great actress. That's what. That's when she get into acting. Whatever. Move on. Put on the next what else she got? She get an Oscar. I mean, <laughs> that's what I think. Um, I don't know. You wanted to talk about <laughs> Kanye West, didn't you? Yes. So Kanye West after the Grammys. So there was like this little, he kind of, he I was, yo, my suit and tie, suit, suit and tie, tie. <laughs> hey. but anywho, he was in London, same time the Grammys were going on, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and apparently he had some things to say about the Grammys, he had some things to say about Jay-Z, um, he had some things to say about Taylor Swift, the whole process as it all, so he says this, and I quote, and I got love for Hove, but I ain't fucking with that suit and tie. Yep. So I don't, I don't take that necessarily as he's blasting Jay, but you know some people felt that he was blasting Jay. But I don't take that. I was just, I mean, he was just like he just don't fuck that suit and tie shit. I mean, I wonder what he means though. Like, what do you mean by? What do you think he means by that? Well, you know, some people are trying to say that he maybe was a little bit jealous because you know, from a Grammy perspective, he's never really had any good. Um, how can I say this? this he way? had the whole thing with Taylor Swift. You know, when he jumped on stage and, you know, he well, personally, publicly you know, think... came out and said some things about the Grammys, mm -hmm. President Obama, mm -hmm. you know, he was saying things about him. Kanye West sometimes just does things for an attention. He's like an, a, a child that just needs and craves attention. He has to have it. So he's going to continue to do things to get it, such as marry, you know, well, not marry, but get Kim Kardashian, Kardashian pregnant, mm -hmm. start dating her and all kinds of stuff like that. So, I mean, it is what it is. He has to do what he has to continue to do to stay relevant. He's already a talented musician, all, you know, within its own. So I don't feel like he has to do all of those things. But... At the end of the day, he just don't fuck with the suit and tie. The song's hot, though. Yeah, and like yeah. I said before, hopefully they don't come killing me or knocking on my door. Y'all, that was Justin Timberlake's... Lord have mercy, Timberlake's. Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. That's no one. Illuminati coming out on that Grammy show. I don't care what nobody says. But Kanye, child, put a muzzle on it. You ain't got to do all of that to stay relevant. You are already a talented artist within itself, so... Um, the last thing you want to do is mess up, mess with Jay Z, because he's you know that man. He's Jesus when it comes you know, to the music, to the music and the Illuminati. You know, y'all have to be careful with that stuff. But yeah, anyway. <laughs> well, since we talking about Jay Z and the Illuminati, have you let me have you heard that um, we about to have a new single from who? Beyonce. Next, um, <laughs> next thing. What what are we talking about next? Uh, we we not talked about Beyonce enough. I'm already well, she's, pissed off because I ain't getting no damn we, tickets we to her concert. What's going on in Hollywood? I'm over that already because I ain't getting no tickets. Partly, probably because it's my fault. But at the same time, when I want to buy a damn ticket to a Beyonce concert, I expect to have a ticket. I got you. And I'm mad at her because why are you doing this little stunt, this little half-ass tour? Like, you, yeah, you're going across seas. That's where you, most artists make most of their money. But here, you only going on like a, what is that, like a 10, 12 city circuit or something like that? I mean, what the fuck? You get mad? Can we get some extended stays in Atlanta? You know, can we get another show in <laughs> D.C.? I mean, what, I mean, what the fuck? Your album hasn't even come out yet. And you're going on a tour before the album even drops. So I'm hoping this is just something just to do. Get some more extra coins. But when the album drops, she actually goes on tour. But at the same time, the album probably will come out while she's on tour. Right. And she's going to change the whole show in the middle of the tour. Then she's going to sell a whole new set of tickets. And she's going to make <laughs> a trillion dollars in a three-month time. You know, God damn, that girl is smart. <laughs> wait, wait, she wait, is. Wait. She is smart. Like, seriously. But I'm mad because I have tickets. So, if anybody want to buy me some tickets, or if you got some extra tickets to the Beyonce Mrs. Carter show, you can send them to me, 3643 Chepstow Court, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28262. Please, please your, send please them to me. I ain't got no, listen, these no, are Beyonce tickets. I just told you I had you. 
this bitch right here trying to say that he got the hookup on some tickets. You know I got Now, if he can get me. You know I got the hookup on some in, tickets. Right. You know. Exactly. You, so, so, you gonna sit here and like you don't so, know? You gonna sit here and like you don't see, know? We'll see what happens. Anywho, what else happened? What else you got? <laughs> I ain't got nothing else. <laughs> I ain't got. You know. So, I, nothing this, nothing is, this is a sad story here. Let's change pace just a little bit. Okay. So, country singer Mindy McCready. Um, committed suicide last month. Ooh. She was dead at 37 years old. <laughs> you know, this this really is sad, but you know, she leaves behind her two sons, six year old Xander and 10 month um, Zion. And the thing is, her boyfriend committed suicide a month before her. So I don't know if they're on some cult shit, but what I want to say is the People are really insensitive sometimes to people dying, killing themselves. Primarily because, okay, so this lady committed suicide. People are upset that she killed the dog before she killed herself. Well, like, I mean, I had asked you, like, how do we know that she really killed the dog? How about somebody killed the dog? Well, they found her and her dog on the front porch dead. That's just deep. That's deep. Two in the head. That's deep. Two dead. In the head. Okay, so my thing is. They're talking about a dog. They're focusing on the dog more than the human life. That's that's all I'm saying. I'm not finna, I'm not finna even get on that because you know some people are really sensitive right. about their animals. I'm just right. one that feels animals belong outside. They don't belong inside the house. Um, like that whole story a couple years ago with that that young lady was working for her boss and the gorilla. Mm. She went to the house, you know, to feed the gorilla or the chimpanzee, mm -hmm. and the chimpanzee bit her fingers off and, and tore her face off. Mm -hmm. You know, animals just aren't meant to be living amongst people. They are meant to be out in the wild, and we need to leave them there. They should not be in our homes. That's all I got to say. But they're upset because she killed the dog. I agree. You're upset because she killed the dog? <laughs> no, I agree that people that you said animals should not be killed. <laughs> oh, I'm about to say, now wait a minute. This is human life we're talking about. And now, I'm not discounting the fact that animals' lives don't matter. Because I hate when people take dogs and put them in trash bags and throw them on the side That's of the street. Horrible. You know, it's horrible. But can we focus on the human? That's my wife. Like the human... Um, let me stop before I say something wrong, child. No, say your mind. That's what we're here for. Peter be knocking on this my door. This is how what happened. Is this is what we do? They gonna find me. Keep it one hundred. They gonna ban me. Nobody can't ban us. They gonna put bloody furs on the front of my front <laughs> door. And all if you wake up in the morning and there's a bloody fur, <coughs> please take a picture of it and send it to me. Call me. <laughs> Last but not least, in the news, I also want to talk about the track star. Mm, that thing. Um, Oscar. Uh, I think it's uh, Pistorius or Pistorius. Like whatever his name is, he, um, the um, the South African um, track star who is known for um, wearing those paper clip legs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I'm to say. <laughs> but anywho, um, he apparently shot and killed his wife. No, his girlfriend. His mistress. No, it's his girlfriend. I, I think it's his girlfriend. Or his wife, one or the other. The lady he was um, sleeping with. He said he heard a strange noise coming from inside his bathroom. He climbed out of his bed, grabbed his 9mm pistol, Wow. hobbled on the stumps. So he got into his little... So do they not live his together? Paper no, they live together. So why would you think that that's your girl? Wait a minute. That's, that's the strange thing about it. Okay. So help us. You're laying in bed. You hear, you hear some fumbling. So apparently, you got enough time where you get up, right? Go get your gun from up under your bed, mm -hmm. hop in your stubs. Cause he ain't even got like legs. He doesn't have legs. Right, so. He hops in his stubs, walks over That's and shoots four rounds into the door, bathroom door. And kills his wife. That's He's saying that he did, and they're saying that it's premeditated. That is. He's saying that he did not know that that was, um, he didn't know that was her in the bathroom. Please. So my thing is, you heard a noise. Most people, let's 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 it, let's act this out. Okay. So we're laying in bed. All right, I'm getting up. Right, I'm the one. Somebody getting make up. a noise. So, I'm getting most up. Most people be like, "Baby, you hear that? Right, you hear that, baby? He didn't do none of that." He got up. He stayed there. Got the gun from up under the bed. That's a lie. Got in his little fake legs. All that. And then had the nerve to walk all the way over there and shot into the thing. 
At what point? And then he said, as he was walking towards the door, he told baby call the police. You didn't realize that, that, baby, your, wasn't that baby wasn't there. You know right. that. That's all I'm saying. It just sounds really strange to me. That's all. I'm, that's only. That's the only point that I'm trying to make. And I ain't trying to say that it was a premeditated murder. I am. <laughs> I ain't saying that. But most people, if they hear something in their house, they tap their mate. And I'm like, baby, do you hear that? Do right. you hear that? Right. No, I don't hear that. Go back to sleep. You know, you get to a little fuss yeah, just or whatever. Shut up and lay down Unless the woman is the one who jumps up first and she's in a panic. You need to go down there and check, check, check. So, um, the jury is still out on that, but I'm just not buying it. I'm not buying that at all. I don't know what the viewers think about that. Yeah, if what well, how do y'all feel about that? So know. like our fa like not the Facebook page, Lord Hammers, we need to get one. But yeah. like the video and tell us what you think about that. Do you think he really like intentionally premeditated murder. He shot and killed his wife or girlfriend. Or do you think it could have really been an accident? All I'm saying is, you hear a noise. You get up out of bed. You dig up under your bed to get your gun. All up under there. You put on your fake legs. <laughs> and then you walk towards the bathroom. And then you yell, baby. That just doesn't make sense to me. So tell us what y'all think. Yeah, we really want to know. What else we got? Is that it? I think that's it. I think that's it. So I think we've done a pretty good job catching up a little bit. Hopefully Trey won't get ill again. And he um, will join us the next time that we actually... I don't know. After this weekend coming with your birthday, I might be ill. Yes. <laughs> Bitches, I'll be 30, honey, girl. Honey, boo-boo, child. I'll be 30 years old having a big... Birthday bash here. I got some friends coming in um, for the weekend. So I'm really looking forward to it and look looking excited. So, yeah, I might be I'm very sick. excited. You might be sick. Yeah. I'm gonna get them sick. But we'll be back here Monday, if not before then, that you guys know what happened. But thanks for watching. We appreciate you guys very, very much. Continue to give us the feedback and um we'll continue to implement it if it's valid. Thanks for watching.